if your workspace is organized, you're gonna be more productive. There's no question about that. But we spend more time on our phones than at our desks, yet our phones look like this. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to go from this to something like this and give you tips on how to increase your productivity. Hey guys, it's Mike. I'm a doctor working in California. My brother Maddie and I make videos about productivity and tech, so be sure to subscribe and join us for weekly videos. Before we start, make sure you have iOS 14 installed. This is an iPhone tutorial video. Timestamps are in the description below. Feel free to jump straight to the walkthrough portion if that's what you're here for. But I wanna start by showing you how to set up your phone in a minimalistic way that still improves productivity. So first, Think of a color scheme or a theme that makes you happy. You can do a quick Google search for some inspiration. Notice that you can change the look of your icons. You can even make them solid colors if you wanted to. Aesthetics can make a big difference. If you wake up every morning and it just feels good looking at your home screen, it can really set the mood for your day. Some people like to put motivational quotes. Some people put photos that cheer them up. Whatever gets you inspired. So the best part about this declutter process is that you can put your most used apps on your home screen and then neatly tuck away all the other apps into your app library. You'll still have access to all your apps if you scroll all the way to the right. You can search for whichever app you want. But with this minimalistic setup, you can keep your homepage clean. Plus, if you have a social media addiction, you can hide TikTok or Instagram away into the app library and increase the friction that it takes to use them. Let's use this theme page as an example. In the first step, I'm gonna change the appearance of a widget and I'm going to use the messenger as an example. I'm gonna change it from this to this. So hop into the app store and download the free app called Shortcuts. Make sure the icon looks like this. And open Shortcuts. And then tap the plus icon at the top. Search for the action called Open App. You can just type it in the search. Then select the Open App. Tap on Choose, and you can pick which app you want to change. For this example, I'm going to choose the Messenger app. Then tap on the three dots at the top. Then add to Home Screen. Now you can change the name of the app or you can leave it as is, or if you want super minimalism, you can leave it blank, it's up to you. Next, tap the app icon and choose the photo that you wanna replace it with. And then tap on add at the top and then tap done. And there you have it. It's a new widget on your home screen that will open Messenger. You can tuck the original widget away and out of sight by hiding it in your app library. Just press and hold on the app, select remove app, and then move to app library. All right, in this next part, I'm gonna show you how to get those big icons on your home screen. These can be photos, it can be a clock, a calendar, the weather, it's very customizable. First, you'll wanna download the free app called Widget Smith. By the time you're watching this, there might be many other options in the App Store, but they all do very similar things. So open up Widget Smith. On this page, you have the option of three different sizes to choose from, small, medium, and large. And this is what they'll look like on your homepage. Let's just go with the medium size. So this shows you what your widget will look like on the home screen. So let's tap on it to edit. And this is where you get to customize your widget. You'll see that you can create a time widget, a photo, reminders, custom text like motivational quotes. I'm gonna keep it simple and just choose a photo. Let's select a photo from our album. And now let's go back and you'll see here that this is what your widget will look like once it's put on the home screen. If you chose calendar or clock or whatever else, you can also customize the fonts and colors. So go ahead and mess around with that if you want. Let's give this widget a name. You can name it whatever you want. It's not gonna display on your home screen. 
Once you're happy with the way this looks, make sure you press save at the top right. So now let's go back to our home screen and let me show you how you can insert your widget. Press and hold anywhere on the home screen to enter the jiggle mode. And at the top, you'll see a plus sign somewhere. Tap on the plus sign. Now you wanna search for the widget app that you're using. In this example, we used Widget Smith, but if you're using Color Widget or some other app, make sure you search for that specific one. And there it is, Widget Smith. Go ahead and tap on it. We just made a medium sized widget, so let's choose medium and add widget at the bottom. Now you'll see that we added a default medium widget to our homepage. So press and hold on it and choose edit widget. Choose medium widget. And there you'll see the one that we just created with its name and everything. So tap on that and then exit out. And there you go. That's how you add a custom widget to your home screen. So in this video, we went over how to declutter our home screen, only showing our most used apps and putting everything else away into the app library. Then we changed the appearance of our widgets to improve the aesthetics. If it makes you happier just looking at your home screen, you can get into a better mood and be more productive and creative. But this is really just scratching the surface. I'm gonna be making more videos to add to this iPhone productivity series. I'll be showing you how to create productive workspaces, how to use shortcuts, and even how to create your own custom widgets for free. So be sure to subscribe to see those videos. Please like and share this one if you found it helpful. And if you want to connect, just send us a DM on Twitter or Instagram. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. Give it a thumbs up because it really helps us out. And if you want to see more, click on the red subscribe button down here or the circle up here. Check out our website or check out our Instagram. Links in the description below. And check out these videos over here. We think you might enjoy them. And we'll see you next time.